Good morning traders and welcome to the daily call today Wednesday the 22nd of May. Before we get started as always please understand that any advice in today's session is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Okay let's have a look at what's happened in yesterday's markets. Uh, locally we have uh, the monetary policy meeting minutes and Governor Lowe was speaking. Well Governor Lowe made it clear yesterday that the RBA is now ready to cut rates. Uh, the news caused the Aussie dollar to drop, closing off uh, any gaps that were created from the weekend's election. Uh, that's on the Aussie USD, of course. As we now wait anxiously for the next RBA meeting, which is the 4th of June, and let's see what happens. The other major news came from the UK, uh, where Prime Minister May uh, came out and basically has put forward a new deal for the UK Brexit strategy from the European Union. This time she's offering sweetness to the opposition parties and this would be her fourth attempt to get a deal through Parliament. The GBP USD jumped nearly 100 pips at the news only to come back down as it continues to fall and now trading at uh, the 127 handle. That was pretty much it yesterday. Let us now jump to our chart of the day. Incidentally, uh, yesterday's chart of the day, GBPCHF from memory hit target. So that was a strategical, uh, statistical uh, trade. So that one hit full target. So well done for those who took it. An earlier trade from last week, Euro Kiwi, which we had running for around about seven, eight days, that one got stopped out. So I guess it was a net result. We lost one, we won one back. So there you have it. This morning, we have found the Euro CAD on a daily time scale. Uh, as you can see here, it's a really nice uh, level of support. Uh, the market has come a number of times, once, twice, three times. We are there right now again for a fourth time. So what I need before I take the trade, because I don't like to just take it straight off a line, uh, I want to see some price action confirmation to occur at that level. And the little tiny uh, candle that you can see here where I'm indicating, that's just this morning's candle it's only about 40 minutes fresh so we need for to wait for that one to complete if it does complete giving us a price action reversal pattern well then we'll be set and ready to take it and it will be ready tomorrow so add that to your hot list euro cad daily time frame is our chart of the day this morning all right, what's on the agenda for the session, which is about to kick off? We have shortly at 8.45 in the morning from New Zealand, the retail sales numbers. Some of you, by the time you see this video, it may have already happened, so please take note. At 6.30 this evening from the UK, we have CPI numbers due. At 10.30 from Canada, core retail sales. And then at 4 o'clock in the morning, before I speak to you next, from the US, it's the FOMC meeting minutes guys as always please feel free to contact us if you do have any questions follow me on twitter at chat effects for trade setups and breaking news most importantly hope you all have a fantastic trading day i'll talk to you tomorrow for the daily call bye for now